For a look at the weather now with Louise Lear. Some stormy weather heading our way. Yes, it's arrived. Everything bar the kitchen sink across the far northwest of Scotland. And in actual fact, today we've got a little bit of white stuff across the highlands, as you can see, sent in by this weather watcher's picture. It's the winds, though, that's the real issue through today across the northwest. We're seeing gusts of winds in excess of 40, 50 miles an hour developing at the moment. So gales or severe gales likely driving in some pretty squally showers with it. At the same time, we have got a band of rain moving through Lincolnshire down into the Midlands and gradually pushing into the southwest. But it's the showers across the northwest that's the real issue through this afternoon. Really merging together for longer spells of rain at times. Some hail, some sleet and snow, chiefly to the hills, but maybe even at lower levels. And it's going to feel quite cool out there as well when you factor in the wind. The cloud and rain will sit across the Midlands and down into the southwest, where it's likely to pep up a little as we move towards the afternoon. But across southeast England, yes, it's a little bit drizzly, but not a bad afternoon. Most of the rain not arriving until after dark. That then drifts its way further south and east and with clearer skies behind in more rural spots we could see a touch of frost. The showers keep on going into the far northwest. Ice could be an issue as well as temperatures in rural parts fall close to freezing. So it's a pretty miserable start to Thursday in Scotland and maybe Northern Ireland. Windy with frequent showers continuing. Elsewhere though, not a bad day in prospect. Some decent sunny spells coming through. A little bit fresher but highs of around 4 to 10 degrees. Now as we move out of Thursday into Friday, we need to talk about Barbara. We can't ignore her. Here she is, this deep area of low pressure moving in. And it's the strength of the winds that's the real issue with this significant area of low. In fact, so much so we've got an amber weather warning. Be prepared for some disruption across the far northwest of the UK. The strongest of the winds to the southern flank of the low as it shifts away. 90 mile an hour gusts plus across the extreme northwest. But widely we're going to see gusts of winds across Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England for a time of 70 miles an hour. A company by some rain, yes, but it should rattle through at quite a pace. We're not too concerned at this point with the volume of rain that we're going to see, but there's certainly going to be some disruptions across the uh, across travel and transport. Certainly keep watching the weather forecast. If you're travelling on Christmas Eve, a brief lull in proceedings, I suspect. Breezy and showery, but if I just move out of the way, this storm is likely to arrive, unfortunately, for Christmas Day. Yet more wet and windy weather. At the moment, it looks likely to be across the northern half of the country so plenty going off with the weather doesn't look too bad towards the south certainly keep tuned to the forecast we will of course update you back to you Sophie Louise, thank you a reminder now of our main story this